welcome. We are at AT&T Park today here with Will Clark. And Will, would you like to ask some questions? I'd be glad to. I'm here with Will Clark from the, from the Giants themselves. And, 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 now I'll, and now I'll start off with the questions. Will, Will, tell us about Autism Awareness Night and, and your involvement and, and, your invol and the Giants' involvement. Well, thank you so much, Will. We uh, got involved with Autism Awareness Night about 10 years ago. The San Francisco Giants have decided to make that part of their yearly promotional campaign. And part of the proceeds of the ball game that we're going to have, and it's going to be tomorrow night, part of the proceeds go to Autism Speaks plus numerous other autism groups here in the Bay Area. Tell Tell us about the tell us about the Giants involvement in the autism commu community. San Francisco Giants are very proactive within their community. They like to sponsor quite a bit of uh, days at the ballpark, one of them being Autism Night. So not only do they try to help out the community, they try to give back as much as possible. And Autism Night is going to be tomorrow night, as we said, here at the ballpark. It'll be against the Milwaukee Brewers, and it's going to be to raise awareness. That'll be first off, and then also raise some funds to help out the autism community here in the Bay Area. And then the Giants also do numerous other charities also. So, Will... Um, so I understand that your son is on the autism spectrum. Is, is that pretty much the reason why you got involved and started autism awareness? That is, uh, that's definitely the truth. Actually, uh, my wife and I, we were uh, part of the United Way before, uh, before we had our son. Uh, when our son was about two and a half year old, years old, we found out that he was on the autism spectrum. Uh, since then, we have been advocates for autism awareness. And, uh, you know, the Giants have jumped in and, and been involved. Our son now is 20 years old. He's at a local uh, community college in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He's doing great. He's making great grades. Uh, he has yet to find out what he wants to do with the rest of his life, with his career path. But uh, he's definitely a young man who's been improving. Wow, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So um, over the past 20 years, how, um, how have things changed? with um, your involvement and your son's you know, inspiration in autism? Great. Well, in the 20 years of involvement with autism, we've seen the numbers dramatically decline, believe it or not. Uh, it used to be one child in every triple digits came along, was, was a, a member of the autism community. Now it's one in every double digits. And... Um, that is a trend that is not good in my eyes. I want to raise awareness. I want to raise some funds to hopefully battle this disease. Um, and, you know, I think that as long as, you know, I'm a sports celebrity, as long as I have a platform to get my message across, that uh, my wife and I should definitely use that platform as much as possible. So we've been involved now for 10 years with the San Francisco Giants, and we were involved before that ev even more with other ball clubs also. So you're... Uh, sure. So um, your, your son, you said, is in college, and, um, and he's not sure what his interest is at the right. moment or so. And um, does he... Uh, does he have college mates that he talks um, talks about these things too? Definitely, you know that's that's the one thing that's the one thing about college. Uh, you know there there are quite a few people who do go to college who don't know exactly what their future is going to be and trying to prepare for it. So he's definitely talking to some of his friends and finding out what they're going to do. And then uh, you know we're trying to find out what his interest is. Uh, what he would like to do along his lines of study and where he wants to go with that. And, you know, for us personally as, as parents, it's, it's great to see the fact that he is now in college and making that adjustment. Uh, we have several other friends on the autism community who aren't as, as gifted as us. Their, their children are not allowed to go to college. And so, you know, we feel very blessed and at the same time, you know, say a lot of prayers for other people. Um, 
maybe the people in college will spread this awareness as well and just get the word out and pretty much people educate themselves. So um, anybody on the spectrum, you know, is they feel they're capable of doing anything. And I'm definitely, sure. definitely. And, and not only, you know, not only people on the autism spectrum, but also on, on you know, other uh, diseases, shall we say. And, you know, that's the one thing about most of the colleges nowadays, they do cater to, you know, special needs uh, young adults. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very proud to, to say that a lot of the colleges here in the Bay Area do cater to special needs adults. Oh. Will, I know you've been in the autism community for quite some time now. You've seen a lot. You've managed to raise your son. What kind of advice do you and your wife have for uh, other parents who are just kind of starting out that path? That's a, that's a great question. Um, you know, each child, each adult um, is, is completely different. And from my wife and I, we took it on a day-by-day -day type process. And every time a new development would come along that, you know, it was a positive for us, we, uh, you know, it made our day all that more better. And, uh, you know, so for us personally, we took it day by day. And, uh, you know, we watched our son go from grade school to high school and now into college. And, uh, you know, he continues to amaze us every day. And uh, that's my sort of speech that I give to other parents is, you know, enjoy every day that it comes. And, you know, when he makes a new stride or she makes a new stride, um, you know, have it with a big old smile, enjoy it, and move on to the next one. Well, if he inherited your smile, he's doing pretty good. <laughs> um, uh, there's a lot of people that are going to be watching the game, that are going to be uh, involved in the show, the people in the community. What kind of uh, advice do you have for folks in the community, whether it's the business community or just the fans out there, on how they can help? You know what, that's great. Uh, you know, we would love to have, you know, monetary donations to help with autism research, but it's just the awareness, knowing the fact that, you know, this was one in triple digits and now it's one in double digits and it's getting worse, uh, you know, as time goes by. It's affecting more more people, it's affecting more communities. And so to a raise, raise that awareness for everybody is, is the number one step. And if we raise funds, that's even more better.